here we have example 12, and this one um, does have a few little sneaky tricks to it, but let's just approach this in a classic long division way using our placeholders, and then we'll chat about it later or after. Similar to example 11, I'm not going to give very much um, explanation or support verbally on this one because I think that you should have a good grasp on it. And if not, I do want you to be able to articulate questions and practice that way. So make sure you are pressing pause if you get something different and make sure you are trying to figure out what you did wrong. And if you can't figure it out, make sure you ask. Sorry, I smudge into my pen quite a bit. I'm trying to clean that up for you guys. So instead of me pointing out a few things to you, let's turn it around. I have questions. I'm curious if you could tell me what is so special about this example? What is another way you could have done this example? How do you know that this answer makes sense and that it's correct? Let me know. You could put it in the comments. You could ask me during class. But your answer to this division problem is the quadratic trinomial 4x squared plus 6x plus 9. If you got this and you understand, give it a thumbs up. Tell me something in the comments of what you recognize and what you know. If not, that's okay. Ask questions, throw out some ideas. Hope this was helpful. Have a great day.